Hi, I'm Paul from Norn. Welcome back to Ask the Expert. So today we have a question regarding weld spatter. The question actually is, what are some effective methods to minimize or remove weld spatter? So that's two different topics there, really. But I think it's prudent, first of all, to have a look at what actually is weld spatter. So in front of us here, we have a carbon steel plate with some MIG welds applied. And if you look closely around their MIG welds, you can see little balls of metal adhered to the surface of, uh, of the plate. And that is what we mean by weld spatter. Okay, so if we want to minimize uh, the weld spatter, it's all to do with your weld setup, okay? So when you're MIG welding, you must make sure you use uh, the Argon CO2 mix gas bottle. That ensures that your weld will be as good as it possibly, possibly will be. You're always gonna get some spatter, but this will minimize the amount of spatter you get when you're doing your, your MIG weld. Also a top tip from me, um, it's tempting, but don't use gas impregnated wire. You will get much more spatter from gas impregnated wire. So always use a proper MIG welder with the gas bottle attached and switched on, okay? So that's how to reduce the spatter on your MIG welding. Secondly, how to remove uh, the spatter if it, is, if it is there or when it's there. There's a few different options we've got in front of us here today. If it's a small amount of spatter and small uh, you know, globules on your, on your steel, uh, something like this wire brush on an angle grinder will do that perfectly. This is a twist knot wire brush, so quite stiff, very aggressive, and you can just simply run that down the side of your weld and pull off that spatter quite uh, quite efficiently. If the spatter's a little larger, it may acquire, acquire, require an abrasive such as this product here. So this is our Blaze Rapid Strip with a nice ceramic grain inside here. It's soft and conformable, but it is very aggressive, much more aggressive than a, than a, a wire brush. And again, you can run this wheel uh, down the side of your welds and even over the top of it too to clean it up. And that will remove slightly bigger particles of spatter without any, any issues at all. So really nice for, for doing that. Last of all, if the spatter is large and there's a lot of it, there's no alternative if you want to get rid of it, but use something more aggressive, such as a flap disc or a grinding disc uh, like we have in front of us here. That will certainly take off the spatter very easily, very efficiently, but it is a very aggressive product and it will uh, damage the surface quite a lot and also remove weld if you do touch the weld uh, with that. So last resort, a flap disc, uh, but try these other two products first, the wire brush or the uh, wrapper strip. I hope that answers your question. See you next time.